Grab Project, Gravity Assisted Pulse Motor, Two-Stage Oscillator Update. Uh, this is a first attempt at uh, using the solder paste and the, uh, the hot air gun. Uh, let's see, the hot air gun, uh, it's missing some screws uh, for the holding, you know, for to hold the, uh, the bracket. Plus, there's no place to mount it, so I guess we'll have to make a mount for it. And then... Uh, but the iron, uh, you know, seems pretty nice. Comes with uh, multiple tips. Uh, let's see, individual power uh, for uh, the uh, solder iron and the hot air. When you turn on the hot air, you got a fan control and a temperature control. Heats up pretty fast, gets hot. Uh, you can control the uh, the amount of uh, the fan the fan speed. And there's a uh, Let's see, an auto selector switch for uh, for the solder iron as well. And you can those are individual, you know, uh, temperature adjustments. So that all seems to be working fine. Uh, back to the hot air problem. Let's see here. Uh, turn that off. Turn that on. Okay. So now we got. Uh, it uh, heats up pretty quick. Let's see here. Hot air temperature. Uh, maximum. I'm not sure if it's uh, Celsius or uh, Fahrenheit. Probably Celsius, I would imagine. So, I have no idea what temperature to set this at. But uh, earlier attempts have produced uh, unsatisfactory results. Uh, basically, I'm using... Uh, I don't know, some kind of. We got some uh, a small I... dab, and uh, I'll put it on a bare spot on the test board. I clean the uh, test board with uh, uh, alcohol, and um, let's see what it does. Oh, got to increase the temperature here. There you go. All right. So I don't know. Keep it around 400. And, uh, oh, what did I do? It overheated. And I think what's happening is, see, it melts the stuff, but it doesn't stick to the copper. And it forms little solder balls, and you can chase the little solder balls around with the uh, hot air. But it doesn't, uh, doesn't stick to anything. And I have some uh, regular flux, and I smeared that on there, and the same thing happens. Uh, the big gray spots are, uh, uh, I guess it's pretty poor results. But uh, it's supposed to, uh, you know, the example videos, it's supposed to wick to the copper, or the hottest point. And this stuff clearly isn't doing that. Makes uh, solder balls, rolls off the board, and... Uh, so we'll have to get some better quality uh, solder paste and uh, try again. Uh, let's see, what's the other feature this thing has? Oh, when you turn it off, it keeps the fan running until uh, until the temperature drops to, uh, I don't know, probably ambient temperature or some safe temperature. And then, uh, then it shuts off. So this unit, uh, it, it appears to be working. Even though it's missing some part or screws when they shipped it, and they also didn't have uh, the manual was saying something about removing shipping screws from the bottom plate, and uh, those were never installed. So I don't know, but it, this this gets hot and blows air, and uh, I haven't tested the solder iron yet, but I'm sure it appears you know it, <laughs> it appears to be uh, you know good enough for what I'm doing. Uh, let's see here. Increases fan speed, it cools down faster, and uh, well, this is like watching grass grow. Anyways, so at some point this will shut off automatically uh, because we turned the uh, power supply off. But uh, this uh, this solder paste is uh, totally inaccurate uh, or inadequate for my. Uh, it's a green product from Wiley. I think that means it's lead free. This solder paste, and uh, yeah, it's got it's clearly some kind of flux. Maybe I'm not using the right paste. 
So we'll uh, we'll buy a better quality uh, paste and uh, try again. Yeah, see the thing just shut up. Anyway, so uh, if anybody can make some recommendations on what kind of solder paste to buy for uh, you know doing this sort of work, I'd be happy to hear from you. Uh, thanks for you watching. <laughs> Enjoy the day. Cheers.